Good morning. Good to see you this morning. Welcome to anyone who's recently come across my channel. You're most welcome and I hope that uh, the thought that I, that I start with in the morning, each morning, might provoke further th thinking and meditation of the scriptures um, to encourage you and help you on in your walk with the Lord. It is a daily walk, of course. It's a moment-by-moment -moment walk. And the thought that's been in my head this morning um, has been about not putting off till tomorrow what you can do today. And the thing that, the, the verse that provoked that was at a Bible study I was attending yesterday when we were looking at Acts chapter 26. And in that, um, we're, we're at the end of the, almost the end of the Acts of the Apostles and uh, Paul is in prison um, <coughs> under house arrest, been like that for two years. And he's in front of Agrippa and uh, and Festus, and he's giving them an account of his uh, salvation, how he came, how he fought against the and and pursued Christians uh, to their death, and uh, and then he met with the Lord on the road to Damascus. He tells them all about it, and, and there's a long discussion here, um, and they're listening. All these people are listening, and. Uh, in verse 28, King Agrippa says to Paul, in a short time, you think to make me a Christian. And Paul says, whether it's a short or long time, I would to God that not only you, but all those who hear me today would become such as I am, except for these chains. And then the king rose and, uh, and they withdrew and the conversation ended. But I was thinking, he was, uh, he was almost there. He was almost there. He'd listened to everything that Paul had said. He knew a lot about the life of Jesus. He had been around when Jesus had been around. And he says this, in a short time, you think to make me a Christian. And I was thinking about all the people that I've known over the years who have been really impacted by a sermon or a testimony or a film or something that has ha happened to them and they they're almost there to accepting that Jesus is is God and that he's done this for him for the person who's listening or heard and then they're distracted by I don't know someone else in the room speaking or by a, a, a thought and and they they don't they don't make that leap of faith from understanding a lot about Jesus and coming to realise that he did do things and he wasn't how they'd thought about him before and they're right on the, the verge of salvation and then they don't. They don't step into the kingdom. It reminded me of some verses in 2 Corinthians 6 and I'm going to read them in the Good News version because it, it, it makes it much clear, very clear what Paul is saying. The good news says in uh, 2 Corinthians 6, In our work together with God, then we beg you who have received God's grace not to let it be wasted. Hear what God says. When the time came for me to show you favour, I heard you. When the day arrived for me to save you, I helped you. Listen, this is the hour to receive God's favour. Today is the day to be saved. This is the day, today. Today. Don't put off. To tomorrow the decision to do something for God or to follow God or to whatever's on your heart I I long I I long for you all all of the, there's lots of you listening to me I know and I long for you all and I pray for you every day that you will pursue the Lord Jesus and God with everything in you that you will be wholehearted followers of Jesus that you will cast aside any doubts um, because doubt doesn't really help. And you will, you will launch yourself by faith into the kingdom of God and accept that what the Bible says about Jesus is true and that what the Bible says about you is true, that you are seated in the heavenlies, that you are saved, that you, you are the object of God's love, that you have eternal life. And compared to eternal life, this life is so short. And it's a waste to invest your energies 
and all that you have in this li- in the things of this life. <coughs> pursue, pursue, pursue wholeheartedly. Seek the Lord while he may be found, is another verse. We don't always know. I don't know with, with uh, uh, King Agrippa. We're not given any more information about King Agrippa. All we know is that uh, they didn't hear Paul again and Paul was decided, it was decided that Paul should be shipped off and sent to Caesar as he'd made the appeal to Caesar. And it may be that King Agrippa never had another moment when he was that close to the kingdom of God. And he hadn't, he hadn't, he hadn't made that step of faith. Can I urge you, make that step of faith today. You've heard about Jesus. You know all about Jesus. You know what the the Bible writes about Jesus. You know that he died on a cross. You know that he, people say he rose from the dead. If you examine the scriptures, you will see that hundreds of people, well, loads and loads of people at the time, died protesting that Jesus rose from the dead. If it was all a falsehood, if it was all a fiction and a story, they wouldn't have done that. They knew it was true. They'd seen it. They were witnesses. They were eyewitnesses. John himself says, I've written these things in this book so that you will know that Jesus is the Christ and that believing in him, you will have life in his name. And that's the truth of it. Believe in what these eyewitness accounts say. And the scriptures make it quite clear that until you make that step of faith, you will never fully appreciate. But you're right on the edge. Make that step of faith. Ask Jesus into your life. Thank God for sending Jesus to save you. And the understanding will follow. Because once you become born of the Spirit, the Spirit enlightens, the Spirit explains and makes clear the things of God. And we need the Spirit in all our actions. So, uh, this is the day. Today is the day. Don't put off to tomorrow what you can do today. Do it today. Tomorrow may never come. This life is very fragile. You may not get another opportunity. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.